Well, it's been threatening the storm all day, but uh, I'm going to go down here to the pond and see if I can't get a few bass. Bearbench pressure is kind of high, so I'm going to fish with a little deep diving crank bait and a worm. Uh, Cinco actually rig Texas style with a little weight on it, so we'll see what we can get. Oh, I missed one right there. Oh, he got off. What a horrible thing. Well, I'm hooked up here. That'll work. That's number two. Ooh, come on up here, baby. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So that's a nice little pond bass right there. What you gotta do is fan cast. I've been casting that way and that way and that way. Just every which way you can. And uh, working your, your retrieve a little bit. I had a little pause and go retrieve with that one. So get him back in there. Get off my bass. Get off my bass. Ah, you let him get in. <sighs> what can you do? Another little pond bass. Oh, let me get this one away from the dog. Ah, right, there she goes again. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Hey, hey, hey. Give me that. Hey, come here, give me that. That's about the size of it right there. Hey. Crazy dog. Let's put him back in the water. Go get it, go get it, go get it. Well, I've uh, switched up to this Senko. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the crankbait and just fan cast it, but I'm gonna try to bounce the Senko. It's Texas rigged, so I'm gonna bounce it along the bottom. Oh, there was one right there I missed. Wow. Thing went to Cleveland. Well, let me try that again. I got this Senko rigged up, Texas style. And I'm going to throw it out there and let it sink down, but I'm going to work it real aggressive along the bottom. I'm going to get it to hop pretty good. It's got its own unique little flare to it. Let's see if I can't get a bass to hit it. I know they're going to be tight. We've been getting them on that little uh, shad wrap right there on pause and go. I didn't want to go down there anymore because my neighbors are fishing, so. Oh. There we go. Got that Cinco bass. Alright. Uh, that's just bouncing it real high off the bottom. I mean, real aggressive with it. And uh, that's a little bass. That's about third or fourth cast with that. So, I'm going to get it rigged up get it back out there if you notice we just caught one on that crankbait right here off the same dock a few minutes ago so don't be afraid to switch lures and fish the same spot what are you doing
That one hit on the fall. Look at that. Unfortunately, I did not get a hook in here. Put him back out there again. There he is. I got him that time. All right, a little bit better one there. All right, get away from my fish. Ah, about the same size, just had a little fight in it. Look at that thing out there, that little three odd hook don't wanna come out. That's a good hook. Wow. Oh, well, there's another little one. Woo! Go get him. <laughs> Crazy dog. Got another one, huh? Oh! Ho, 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 ho. He came off. All right, Megan, get away, get away, get away, get away. All right, well, that's another one on that Senko. So, uh, bounce that thing along the bottom. But bounce it pretty hard, get it up in the air. That's the way we've been catching them here. I work that uh, little bait like that a lot. It seems to do pretty good for me, so. Just Texas rig it like you normally would. But your uh, retrieves much faster than a regular Texas rig bait because you're wanting to bounce that up and down right off the bottom. Down to the pond today and I was throwing a uh, number nine shad wrap and uh, as soon as it would hit the bottom I would pause it. So every time it hit the bottom I would pause it and let it come up a little bit and I reel it back down so it went fairly quickly. And I fished down the bank here and caught a few bass on that and then I went to the Cinco type bait. This is actually a Yum Dinger here. Eight ounce weight Texas rig and as soon as you feel that thing hit the bottom you just give it a quick snap and it'll raise it up a foot or two off the bottom and uh, that's what I caught the rest of the bass on so uh, that's how I did it and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So, uh, let me know. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and we will uh, talk it tonight.